motion in one dimension. This is an important topic in grade 10 physics and this is basically an introductory video to the topic motion in one dimension. Now first of all you need to go back and watch the videos on vectors and vectors in one dimension in order to understand motion in one dimension. In this video we'll be focusing on something called the frame of reference and then position. Let's jump right into the video. Motion in one dimension is exactly what the phrase means. Motion or movement in one dimension along one straight line. One dimension. So two dimensions would be left, right, up, down. Motion in one dimension would be, for example, moving backwards or forwards along a straight line or up or down along a straight line. In the motion in one dimension section, we'll be speaking about frames of reference and position. This leads into distance or displacement, where you are, how far you are moving, your distance, your displacement, speed or velocity, how fast you are moving, and acceleration, how your speed or your velocity is changing, if you're speeding up or if you're slowing down. So I cover all of these in this playlist in this video. We will be focusing on the frame of reference and position. Both of these are essential if you want to understand the rest. Here are some important definitions that you need to know for this section, but we will come back to them as we cover each subtopic. The first important concept to understand is a frame of reference. So, a frame of reference is defined as a coordinate system used to represent and measure properties of objects such as position. So in this video, we'll be focusing on using a frame of reference to help us understand position. What you need to understand about a frame of reference is that it has an origin. Okay, so in this example, I am taking my origin to be zero and a set of directions. So left or right, east or west, up or down. So if this is my frame of reference and this over here is my origin or also known as a reference point, then I can make the following conclusions. G is one unit to the left of my reference point. As you can see, G is situated over here. It is one unit to the left or one unit to the west of my reference point. J is three units to the right or three units east of my reference point. So over here, it says we choose a reference point based on the frame of reference. It's the point that we refer from. So back to this example, I spoke about where H was or J was or where G was in reference to, in comparison to the reference point, starting at the reference point, where is the letter situated? So if you're explaining to your friend where your favorite shop is and you're trying to tell them where it is relating to distance, you could say, oh, the shop is 600 meters. And your friend could say, 600 meters what? You have to give a frame of reference, you have to give a reference point. So you would have to say, oh, the shop is 600 meters from my home to the right, something like that. And as I've mentioned, we can define position relative to a reference point. And because of this, and because we use a coordinate system as my frame of reference, position can be positive or negative. So in this example over here, if this point over here is my origin or my reference point, and I ask you for the position of the symbol that I'm going to draw on the screen now, the heart, I can ask you, where is the heart? What is the position of the heart relative to the reference point? So this is where you refer from, this is where you start, and you can say that the heart, the heart is 20 meters to the right of the reference point. You can also say east because we start at the reference point and we go 20 meters in the direction of the right or in the direction of the east. Then we get to the heart. In this example, I could ask you for the position of several things, but I have to give you an origin or a reference point. So for example, if I ask you what is the position of the school relative to my home, your home is your reference point. That's your zero, technically. The school is your reference point. So listen to my question again. What is the position of the school? I'm asking where is the school relative to my home? So start at the home. How far away is the school? Well, you have to go 800 meters to the left or to the west. Do you see how they give me a set of coordinates? 
because they give me the north, east, south, west, the compass point over here, we actually should make use of the compass points. I took this from a past exam paper. So we start at home, we go 800 meters to the west, and then we go an additional 500 meters to the west. So in total, the answer is that the school is 1,300 meters from my home or east from, sorry, not east, west, relative to my home. Just like that. What if I had to ask you, what are the positions of the boy and the girl relative to the school? So you start at the school, that's your zero position, that's your reference point. And now, where are the boy and the girl relative to the school? You can see that the boy and the girl are 500 meters to the east of the school. So your answer for position for the boy and the girl relative to the school would be 500 meters east. They are 500 meters east of the school. This one comes from a past paper. See if you can try it. Ignore 2.1. It's a definition that you need to learn. But they say a baby leaves a bowl of food on the floor and crawls westward, which is that way, to fetch a toy placed five meters away from the baby. At the same time, a dog wa walks eastwards, that's that way, towards the baby. It takes the baby 30 seconds to reach the toy. The dog walks past the toy to eat the baby's food in the bowl. Okay, 2.2. Defi determine the position of the dog relative to the baby before they both moved. So before they both, both moved, the dog was here, seven meters away from the toy, as indicated on the diagram, and the toy was five meters away from the baby. So the total distance between the dog and the baby before they moved was 12 meters. But remember, when you give position, it's relative to your reference point. So if you read the question carefully, they say determine the position of the dog relative to the baby. So start at the baby. Where is the dog? Is the dog on the east of the baby? So is the dog this way? Or is the dog on the west of the baby? This way. The dog is on the west of the baby. The dog is 12 meters west of the baby. So your answer for 2.2 is simply 12 meters west. And if you take the baby as your reference point, technically you can call that your zero position. Technically, on a coordinate system or a number line, the dog would be at negative 12. So the baby would be at zero, the toy would be at negative five, and then the dog would be at negative 12. But generally in physics, we don't leave our answer as a negative. The negative 12 tells me the direction. It tells me that the dog is 12 meters west of the baby. It is very important to understand frame of reference and position because this leads into distance versus displacement, which I have videos on in this playlist. Remember to go check it out. Also, that leads into speed and velocity. Again, I have videos on it in the playlist. Please go check it out. Finally, that leads to acceleration, and that concludes the motion in one dimension section. So you need to make sure you understand this beginning part, and then you build up throughout the playlist to understand the rest. I can't wait to see you in another video very soon. Bye, everyone.